Hello, my name is Konstantin Kucher and this presentation is about our experiences with the project course in visualization and data analysis designed with my colleagues Rafael Martins and Andreas Karen at Linnaeus University in Sweden. Our previous pedagogical experiences in visualization included various courses in InfoViz but no dedicated courses in visual analytics, which provides its own requirements and challenges and opportunities. The main goal with this project course was to allow the students to focus on combining the visual and computational perspectives and to do that in a project setting. Thus, we wanted to focus not only on theoretical topics on this course, but also various practical uh, topics that would facilitate this teamwork in a project setting. The intended learning outcomes for this course were also multifaceted related to the issues of knowledge and understanding, but also skills and abilities and the overall judgment and approach. This project course was designed as uh, mainly a master level course of 10 ECTS credits that would last a complete term. We also allowed PhD students interested and um, having sufficient knowledge to take part in this course as well. We primarily aimed for autumn semester, uh, meaning that the winter break would also uh, take place and uh, this course was designed to take place alongside our uh, other courses at our department, which typically only last for one study period or quarter. We didn't list any official prerequisites uh, in visualization for this course due to scheduling issues. So this course was designed to be self-sufficient. However, we strongly recommended uh, the participants to also enroll in at least the first information visualization uh, course that was taking place simultaneously. The contents of this project course um, consisted of several main uh, parts. First of all, we provided a block of lectures and tutorials early on so that everyone would receive the initial foundational knowledge. But as these lectures took place, we already started uh, with the initial stages of preparations for the project work, with the analysis of requirements and um, the design corresponding to a given problem and data. This was discussed as uh, part of the seminars and formulated as a project proposal. And later, when the active phase of the course started, uh, we aimed for sprints of two weeks, after which the participants would create intermediate project releases. Afterwards, they would uh, present their progress, discuss the next steps. And uh, this went on until uh, middle of December, when uh, the project evaluation uh, session um, took place. And the results of those project evaluations were supposed to be um, described in a short report as well. After which a winter break was to take place and uh, it would still leave time for one more uh, demo session uh, with the intermediate uh, progress updates. And finally, the final project release uh, was to be created, followed by final demonstrations and discussions, and followed by two final reports, one focusing on the resulting visual analytics solution, and another one focusing more on the process of working on this project. So the uh, results of the first uh, course offering are overall positive, even though it took place during autumn term 2020, meaning that it was affected by COVID-19 related events and it had to be carried out completely via Zoom. Um, overall, no major issues were experienced though, luckily. We mainly tried to um, split the 
activities and tasks related to the instructional material, uh, such as lectures, practical lectures and tutorials. At the same time, we aimed to attend the seminars uh, in pairs and also to uh, provide additional tutoring sessions between the seminar weeks so that we could provide enough uh, feedback and support to the course participants, especially given the circumstances related to the uh, remote uh, education. So during this course offering, uh, the number of participants wasn't large. We ended up with uh, one team of three master's students who worked together and also four PhD students. And with PhD students, our uh, aim was to push them to uh, work on their own data sets individually so that the contributions that uh, they would develop during this course could later be useful to them and could be publishable. As the outcome of this first course offering, our team of uh, master students worked on a data set from VAS Challenge 2019 with uh, special temporal data. And they developed a web-based visual analytic tool that provides support for analysis of uh, time series and uh, geospatial uh, data. One of the PhD students uh, who took this course a student specializing in uh, information visualization and visual analytics developed an approach uh, that uh, was now described in a manuscript that was very recently submitted to IEEE VIS, um, meaning that he was able to benefit uh, really uh, from this uh, project course with regard to the progress in his PhD studies. Another participant of this course, an industrial PhD student, um, is also using the prototype that he developed as part of this course at his main affiliation at a large corporation, which we also treat as a success story. So overall, based on the results and also the feedback from the students, um, we think that the outcomes of this first course offering were positive and the overall course design was uh, fine. Uh, some of the concerns and issues that we experience are mainly related to the uh, necessity of uh, remote work, which hinders uh, the teamwork between the students, for instance. In the future offerings, we consider making some changes uh, that would allow the students to work together and also to start the active project work earlier, perhaps. Thank you very much for your attention.